Good morning. That's it. Good morning. In Chennai, in Hyderabad, when we said good morning, the third time, people have closed their ears. So can I expect that in Kerala also? Good morning. Good morning. Wow, great. Okay. Uh, I also uh, want to invite uh, job seekers who are sitting outside to come inside. Because there will be some information given over here, where which will help you what are the types of companies coming and what is the type of, you know, questions or which are the segments from which the questions are going to be asked. So I invite all the job seekers outside to also come inside. Okay, so uh, to begin with, uh, I thank the college department for trusting us and giving us the opportunity to do the job fair here in Kerala. And so this is the first model which is being done across country. So this was the model which we thought of long time but we didn't implement. So when we started in Hyderabad, there was a huge response. Then we went into Chennai. Now we are in Kerala. The next job place is in Mumbai and thereafter they are in Bangalore, they are in Bhuneshwar. So we are conducting a series of job fairs. And uh, I thank uh, our uh, Mr. Tibin, Head of Corporate Relationships and Business, Father Justin, Father Matthew and Dr. Paul Matthew for giving us the opportunity to be here and doing this job fair. Okay. Uh, coming on to uh, the job fair, why this is called MEP? Okay. Start the company. Yeah. So there is some sequence which I will be able to explain you about why we call it as MEP. Okay. MEP is nothing but mechanical, electrical, and P stands for plumbing. Any building you construct, any building you construct cannot be occupied without these basic services. Isn't it? So, yeah. Will it be there? Okay. So, just go to the next slide. So, when I say our organization part, we established ourselves in 2004 and we have uh, 11 centers in 6 states. We have trained around 20,000 engineers and technicians and our placement rate is 78%. So, those who have got placed, trained with us have been placed to that extent. And the most important part is we are recognized by Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. We are the training partners of NSDC, National Skill Development Corporation. And all the programs which we are going to conduct are approved by the Ministry. And we have associations with more than 300 companies across India and we were overseas. Next slide. So our vision we are looking at as Skilling India. Sorry. We are looking at Skilling India and our mission is to be the top three skill development company in India. Yeah, next year. Okay, fine. So uh, the concept of MEP has come up because as I said, when we go to construct a building, the first point of contact will be an architect. We have a land, we have money and then we have to start a building. So the first point of contact is an architect. Then, then from the architects, it splits into two segments. One is structural and the other part is MEP, which call as building services. In building services comes is mechanical, centralized air conditioning, electric services, electrical is electrical services. And P is plumbing. So any building which you have to occupy, first you need to see that whether water facility is available, then only we can live in that. And we also see the power and the air conditioning part. So when you look at the air conditioning part, any commercial complex, any commercial office which we have occupied should have a centralized air conditioning. Considering this, uh, generally majority of the people don't know that this, there is a segment called MEP industry and this is totally integrated in the 
civil industries. So if you assume one building has costed than one crore of rupees, 45 lakhs of rupees will go into the MEP services. So you can say if we have 100 jobs in civil industry or construction industry, that means 45 jobs are from the MEP industry. So as it was shown, in that MEP also, we have, there are different stages as they are design, uh, designing, drafting, execution and the maintenance part. Any centralized air condition, you see a cinema theatre, there are some cinema theatres when you sit in the theatre, we feel very comfortable and your energy levels are wonderful. And there is another theatre where you see you get smell, you are not comfortable, you get headache. The basic difference is, the overall design is good but maintenance is not done well. So who are going to do this maintenance, the technicians who get trained in this are going to do it. And there is a huge number of job openings in the technicians part. So there are huge, there is a huge scope, I will not go much uh, detail in that part, but I would like to tell something which will encourage you to come into the MEP industry. Generally, 10 years back or around 12 years back when I used to go to colleges and I say I give deliver a lecture about, um, to mechanical students and I ask how many of you want to go into the core industry, I used to see 3 or 4 hands rising up. But the trends have changed. People have understood that IT, computer science is a segment where there is a lot of volatility. And once you reach certain stage, there is no moment of work. But in MEP industry, you start as a junior engineer or a trainee engineer. You become an engineer, you become a senior engineer, you become a manager. Then you become a consultant. The advantage of you... Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Still, still. Yeah, yeah. So, when you see that, there is a path available for you. Once you come as an engineer, and then after 3 to 10 years, or 5 to 15 years, when you work in this industry, you can start your own organization. I am happy to say, in Hyderabad, in Chennai, and even in Kerala, you are going to sit next to our students who are going to do interview to you and those people are running the organizations. 14 years back, whom we trained are now employers and those employers are coming back to the company to take people, to, to take unemployed or aspirants who are looking to come to the MEP industry. So overall, bottom line, what I would like to say is, come into the core industry, be there for 10 to 15 years start your own organization and you can flourish. So coming on to the corporate training programs, you can see that we have done training, corporate training for ISRO, we have done corporate training for Deloitte, we have done for Busta, we are doing for LNT. Now there are some other big companies which are coming to us to do, to do the corporate training. That is corporate training is nothing but you have joined into an organization of this that kind and those um, uh, companies call us to give training to their own employees. So this is what I was trying to show, show you. It's a career profile where you can go through as an engineer to a consultant, to engineer to a contractor. Yeah. So these are all some of our clients which are uh, there with us for the last 14 years and they are going well with us. And the most important part over here uh, is in Hyderabad we were having around 928 job openings and the number of people that selected were around 600 and change. Chennai, the number of openings was here to a thousand, number of candidates got selected were around 600. Here the number of openings are more than 300 and I can see there are more than 600 to 700 people over here and still coming up. What I would like to give you a message is everybody knows the number of jobs and the number of aspirants ratio is huge. Who is going to get a job? The guy who is relevant or near to the expectations of the company. And what are the expectations of the company? And the company wants to have people who know about HVAC, who know about electrical services, who know about plumbing services. So Dhanush Engineering Services is there to support you. For those who got selected, we wish a very good luck. And those who could not break through, don't get disappointed. Dhanush Engineering Services is there and we, in association with the Thermal College, we will be conducting classes and once we conduct show you employment with the same companies. 
because all companies are our clients. So this, I would like to say, sir, in association with you, we would like to really work to see that. More